hope that everyone is well, your families, in light of what we've been experiencing. It is very serious, very concerning, and to all of you, our sincere well wishes that you're being safe, protecting each other, and adhering to the COVID safe practices, and appreciate all the efforts everyone is making to do so. And so I'll begin with this. Our current COVID-19 case update for the Pueblo of Laguna stands at, we have 376 total positive cases. This is an increase of 18 positive cases within three days. We have fortunately 269 recovered of the 376, but we still have 95 active cases at the filming of this video. Sadly, we have nine hospitalized and four additional deaths over a week, which brings the Pueblo's total death. We have 12 within the Pueblo boundaries. For the villages, the village COVID-19 active cases stand at, for village of Siama, 13 active cases. In Sanal, we're glad to report zero active cases. Parahi, five active cases. Laguna, village of Laguna and its communities, 62 active cases and Masita with 11 active cases. Kawadi Village, four active cases. And we're very glad to announce and report that Laguna Rainbow Center, we have zero active cases at the facility at this time. So again, this information is very important to communicate to all of you that that view the video and in other ways we're communicating through the website and the correspondence that we provide to the households. We're doing our best to keep you apprised and update you. So again, take this information, take the time to acquire it, to read it and to understand it, but also uh, let's try to do our best to now take these cases out of our Pueblo and, and, and start the healing and, and going back to, um, you know, try to minimize and contain this deadly virus. So with that, all I would like to stress again at this time is for everyone to adhere to the COVID safe practices. They do help. Again, I commend most of our people, the greater majority of you that are abiding and adhering, adhering to the executive order. Again, we now have the executive order amendment number two in effect now until further notice. But most of all, take care of your household, take care of yourself and others, protect each other as best you can. It does help. Uh, pray for the families, pray for those that have contracted the COVID-19 virus in our report, as you heard, some are in the hospital. Keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers. We've had deaths in our communities and we've also lost community members to other health conditions and some of our elders, sadly, and, and other community members. Keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers at this time and also take care of yourselves, most of all, during this Cold weather, especially, um, do what you can to keep yourself healthy and and do the best you can in that regard. Uh, I just wanna speak last to this, what we're calling the uh, letters that we're providing out to the villages. Uh, this is the one we refer to as the one we're trying to get to every household in our uh, Pueblo Laguna communities. So the latest uh, letter, dated December 2nd, has been completed, printed, and is ready to be dispersed. So again, I will call on our staff officers and our, our village officials and council members and staff, anyone who can help with this. 
uh, to get the letters out. Remember, this was a council decision to get this information out to our communities. And I'm finding out that it's not getting distributed fully. Um, we still have letters here for a couple of the villages. So just a reminder to all of us, we need to do our part. Again, this was council approved and we wanted to do this for our community members to help in, in all these efforts. So as we reported with the cases, <clears throat> again, you'll have this information on the letter as to the uh, total households in quarantine. At this letter was 66 households and total people included in within the public boundaries or impacted by these uh, households and, and isolations and quarantines, 231 overall. That's still a lot of people in our communities. And again, the encouragement is if you have to be isolated or quarantined and you're cleared by the EOC, don't be in a hurry to get back out there and think that you're free to roam and free to go as you please. Again, make good decisions, exercise respectful and uh, appropriate behavior because we don't want to go back to a community spread to the level that we experienced. We're still waiting to see the real impact that the Thanksgiving uh, holiday and, and days subsequent to that may have had um, that still being um, followed and monitored. And so we stand in by to see if we will take another uh, direct hit uh, with a community spread. So again, be careful and exercise all precaution. So with that, again, as we move into the holiday season, again, uh, Christmas shopping, New Year's uh, Eve, New Year's Day holidays on the horizon. We're in the month of December now. Again, we strongly encourage our families and community not to gather. In addition, you know, some of the vendors that we're normally uh, used to see and sell, again, we're discouraging that people don't go out or people don't vend their, their goods and wares, you know, uh, like they did over the holiday seasons and past years, just don't gather. Be mindful. Don't take any risk overall. Uh, this is too, again, too serious. And as we've seen, it's fatal in, in some cases. And we hope that we can, uh, along with the national, state, and um, our own public efforts, we hope we can all work together. So be mindful. And I just ask you to follow, again, COVID safe practices to the best of our ability. Be safe and well, everyone. And thank you for this opportunity. Um, take this information to heart and please be very mindful of what we have experienced and are still experiencing. It's not over yet, but let's do our best to try to address to contain and especially not have this virus impact in our public Laguna boundaries the way we've seen it. Thank you everyone and I wish you all well.